As talks over a U.S.-Saudi mega deal move forward, Ramallah is showing increased interest in getting a piece of the peace pie. To that end, top U.S. and Palestinian officials are expected to meet in Riyadh to discuss the Palestinian component of a possible deal that would include Israeli-Saudi normalization. President Biden's senior Middle East advisor Brett McGurk and Assistant Secretary of State for Near Eastern Affairs Barbara Leaf are slated to sit down with the Palestinian president's deputy, Hussein al-Sheikh, Palestinian oh, intelligence chief Majid Faraj, and Majdi Khaldi, President Mahmoud Abbas's diplomatic advisor. Saudi Arabia has put uh, different conditions uh, regarding normalization. Uh, one of these uh, conditions is really, uh, you know, uh, the end of Israel occupation and uh, the materialization of the state of Palestine. Uh, if that's really the case, then uh, that's really very important. The Palestinians are reportedly seeking tangible steps that will advance their bid for statehood. These include increasing the PA's control over parts of the West Bank, demolishing unauthorized outposts in the West Bank, reopening the U.S. consulate in Jerusalem, and U.S. support for recognition of Palestinian statehood at the United Nations. Integration and normalization efforts are not a substitute for progress between Israelis and Palestinians, nor should they come at its expense. Israel's deepened relationships with its partners can and should advance the well-being of the Palestinian people and the prospects for a two-state solution. The Palestinian asks suggest that the leadership in Ramallah is indeed willing to compromise on the maximalist demands they have made for decades. But given fierce opposition from within Israel's right-wing coalition to any concessions to the Palestinians, both sides might find themselves on the sidelines looking in on the much-anticipated U.S.-Saudi deal.